Good evening. <clears throat> I'm going to try something new tonight. I've been looking at napkin decoupage. I've never done decoupage. I have absolutely no idea how to do it, except from what I've learned by watching YouTube. <laughs> so I have a piece of cardstock and I have a napkin. I have some PVA mixed with water, which I've been told should do the trick and I have something to keep my desk clean. So we're going to have a go. So this is completely never done it before, a completely new experience. This is just to see if it's as easy as everybody says it is. And um, if I can fail in a lovely, spectacularly fashion. Let's hope this napkin is big enough. Yes, it is lovely. Right now, apparently, you have to make sure you've only got one ply of it. I don't know the best way to do that. Hmm. Oh, God, my eyesight's no good for this kind of thing. This bit might take me a while. Ha ha. I highly recommend a pokey tool. Okay, this appears to be a two ply napkin. I've got no idea what I can use this for, but um, I'm, I'm sure somebody will tell me. It's got a nice little pattern on it, so I'm going to keep that bit. This is the bit that I want to stick onto my card. That's quite a nice leafy pattern. So, I'm going to open my glue. The only thing I've got to use is a spongy thing, which quite frankly needs a wash. Now, I think what I do is I wet the card down first and then we put the, the napkin on top of it. I hope the fact that this card is slightly glossy won't um, affect it too much. I couldn't even tell you what this mix of PVA and water is. I made it up ages ago. Right, that card is now quite soaked. I don't know how well you can see that. So I assume I just lay it on there. Frankie, what do I do if there's a crease? <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do if there's a crease. I don't know if it's sort of like, it feels very, very, very wet. Did I use too much or I don't even know where the end of the bloody I've used a lot. I don't, I don't know whether that's right or I've got a crease going along it, which is annoying. But it's so wet that if I try and pull it, it's just going to tear. 
Yeah, see I've already torn it because I stuck my finger to it. Fuck. the napkin too much. Okay, that's uh... so I've made that too wet because it's actually like compromised the napkin there, but that's fine. At least now I know. So I'm gonna leave that to dry and see what happens and I will be back. Okay, it's now the next day. Um, I did dry it off a lot using my heat tool, um, but I had basically puddles of glue, so I ended up leaving it overnight. Um, it's dried really, really well. You know, it's, it feels fine. The card feels slightly warped, but like I said, I probably did use a little bit too much glue. I've got a couple of creases there and there. Then I've got a bit where I got a bit over exuberant with the little spongy dauber that I was using and I've ripped the um, the tissue. This still feels like it did. This feels rough and it's weird, you know, it it feels really strange. It's probably something I'll adapt to. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the um, excess tissue off. And we'll go from there. here and I decoupaged it onto some paper just to see what would happen um, in my journal and um, all I did I didn't prep the paper beforehand I just laid it down on top and just went over it with a paintbrush um, as in an artist paintbrush not a paint or decorated paintbrush and just gently smoothed it on and um, that worked really really well You can even see like the dot grids come through it slightly. This is a self-printed dot grid. This is not a bought one. So it has come through slightly and it has bled a little bit and it did warp the paper. And again, it, it feels rough. I suppose it would because you're basically paper mashing, aren't you? So. It's a little bit rough at the edges where I maybe didn't get the glue all the way to the edge um, but that I just put that down to you know it's a first time experience it's bulky let's find something a little bit smaller yeah I mean it was it was my honestly it was my first time doing anything like that I've never decoupaged with a napkin I might have done something like that when I was 
tiny in school. I'm bloody 40 years old. That was a long time ago. Um, so yeah, it's slightly battered um, looking, but like that one in the corner, it's not stuck down very well, but that's going to be on the back of the um, book anyway. Now, I'm sure somebody said you could use a little bit of sandpaper to get rid of any excess. works quite well. But you need something a little bit smoother than this. It's quite a rough grade sandpaper. Right, so there you go. That is now going to become um, a cover for a TN insert. Um, how easy was it to do? It was really easy. I probably used too much glue. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I'm going to get my friend Wendy to look at this video when it goes up on YouTube and she can tell me what she thinks. Um, I also think a brush was easier to use than that little sponge dauber. I just got a wide um, artist brush and did that. It was only a cheap one from the works or something like that. In a couple of places like there, I've warped the um, warped the tissue, but you know, for, for a first go, I'm actually quite pleased with it. This side looks better than this side, which is cool because that means I get to choose um, which side is going to be the front. So, once it's been done then, how well is it, how easy is it to use? Well, let's find out. Now, ordinarily, I would run a bone folder along that, but I'm a bit reluctant to do so because I'm not sure whether it would compromise the um, you know whether it would cause this to rip I mean I don't know now how strong is it you know so I've got my paper here to go inside my um, cover I'm just going to quickly fold these and then we will get going This is uh, one, two, three, four, five sheets of paper folded in half. Um, I wouldn't do any more than that in a in a notebook because otherwise you'd start having the issue where your inside pages are sticking out. I will trim this down in a bit once it's all together. You can see, look, the pages are sticking out way beyond the thing. No. I have a stencil for punching my holes. And I've got a little awl to do that with. 
then you want some thread and you want a needle it doesn't have to be a teeny 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 needle okay it really doesn't i use i use that size it's got a reasonably decent sized eye but you can use bigger if it's easier for you These ones are slightly bigger, I think, because it's easier to thread the damn thing, she says. Like so. template in there my template already has holes in so what I do is I put my template right in and then I just go through my holes again until you can see the little all poking out and I do all of those like so remove your template otherwise it'll end up stuck in the middle right now what I do is I start in the middle and I go out you want to leave yourself a little tail you don't want to pull it all the way through then pick a direction and just go through the next one always make sure your threads are pulled nice and tight when you get to the end don't pull at an angle like that from your book at a right angle don't pull like that you want to pull towards the in the same direction you're going basically so hold your tail there and your thread there and pull them apart from each other yeah like that and then you just want to go back the same way going in every hole and always pull in the direction you are sewing If you find all of a sudden your holes are disappearing, get it all in and give it another another poke. If they do start closing over, it's weird if you're not quick. So do it and pull it in the direction you're sewing again. Give it another little pull. So downwards, not out away like this, but down. back that way now you are going to go out the middle try and keep these threads clear right when you get there give it a little tug in that direction it's a bit hard to see really and you want to make a knot I, it's better in another video because you can't really see it in this one you 
and then I go back through the hole I've gone straight through that thread which is exactly what I didn't want to do because then I can't pull that tight okay so then I go back through there pull it so the knot comes through make sure these threads are tight as well and then I just tie this in a knot inside Gonna hold up quite well. So what I'm gonna do now is hopefully not ruin it by trimming the pages. Put the needle on that away. Okay. Doubles as my mouse mat. <laughs> I need a nice strong blade and a metal, not plastic, metal ruler. Now it's easier when you do this if you actually stand above it because you can see what you're doing. Line up your ruler with the edge of your book, like so. Press on the ruler and glide the blade over. Do not press on the blade. If your blade is sharp enough, it will do the work for you. You've just got to be patient. Actually, at the end there, look. A couple of little goings over to do the other cover. so inclined you can round off your corners I love a rounded corner I like the biggest one I can find on this one it's 10 centimeters on my corner chomper for the few days that it worked it was the half inch it never worked my corner chomper that's why I gave up with it This is a We Are Memories Keeper. Just three different sizes. All you do is you just push the paper right in until both corners are full, and then you press. How easy is that? okay to me huh I'm quite pleased with that actually considering I've never done this before decoupaged it's worked out really really well be interesting to see how it holds up doesn't it I think it will get a little bit tatty I think if I'd wanted to make it so that it didn't maybe I could have folded it over but you know I don't I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see how it lasts in my TN um, if I don't come back and say anything and you're watching this a year down you know March 2020 or something leave me a comment and ask me how is it holding up did it hold up are you still using it I plan to use it as a collections TN 
so it will get used for stuff that I want to last the year rather than only lasting a month or so so it will be interesting to see how it holds up um, thank you so much for watching um, I hope you found this informative I'm sorry the sewing wasn't very very clear um, I did do it in another video but I can't remember which one it is I'll have to make one so that you can see it a bit better but I do recommend see lemons videos on um, bookbinding she shows you how to do it the only difference between the way she does it and the way I do it is I don't make that first knot I leave my tails loose and I tie them to the end tails at the end but that's the only difference um, yeah do I like it I don't know it's the texture that bugs me I think maybe I could put something over it to make it smoother um, yeah I've got lots of napkins to play with so I shall have to make more won't I Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. I'd love if you did. Um, if you didn't like it, you know, by all means, give me a thumbs down. But let me know why, yeah? Because that's only fair. Um, I'd love a comment. I adore comments. They're great fun. And um, each comment will get a like, a love, or even a reply. I read every single one. Um, if you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified, YouTube willing, when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.